Florida International. You know how much we love Butch Davis. Well, Gotta love old Butch. Used to. Yeah, yeah. Win total is at four and a half. The over <laughs> juiced to plus 110. The under juiced at minus 150. Um, SP Plus has them at five and seven. FPI has them at four and eight. Uh, they went 0-5 last year, and last year was just a complete mess. Uh, it was due to COVID issues. They had guys out frequently. Yeah, I'm not frequently. really worried about last year. Yeah, last year was whatever. The passing game was awful. But they, they, they just haven't been great for a the, while. Even the passing game being as awful as it was last year, it didn't slow down the running game. They averaged 6.6 yards per carry, and they get four offensive linemen back and both of their running backs. So even though everybody knew that they couldn't pass the ball, they still ran over people. Yeah, they're going to play a different schedule this year. Yes, uh, yes, in fact, they are. Uh, they returned their entire secondary from the unit that was the best in Conference USA at preventing explosive plays, so that's good. But um, they're only protected favorites in, let's see, four games. I was no, just three a, games. I was three just games. about Excuse to say, I, I, would, I had a hard time finding four games where I thought they would be favored at. They, uh, they're not going to be great. Like, this is a, this is a rough schedule. However, it's tough. It's tough. Um, I do see Charlotte on there. I do see Old Dominion. Uh, I think they can win at Middle Tennessee. I think they could possibly beat North Texas at home. I don't know what Southern Miss is going to be under Will Hall, Texas State, uh, LIU. Like I, I think that there's a shot here for them to uh, dramatically improve, especially with a good running game and a good defense. I'm going over the four and a half at plus 110. Yeah, I'm not. I like Butch Davis. I'm not. I, I, Butch Davis used to be a great coach. Not a good coach, a great coach. Man, that was a long time ago. And so you were going to take the under four I'm, and a half. I'm going to take the under at four and a half. And uh, let's see. That juice minus 150. Minus 150. I don't, you know I don't like laying a lot of juice. Oh, I know you don't. But uh, I, I, I struggled to find games that I thought were winnable. That's, a, that's totally fair. If you look at it differently than I did. I mean, and, and look, like I said, we're – we're recording this at the end of June. Yeah. Okay. This is this is the thing is we're making a prediction about things that are going to happen in October and November in June. This is true. So, this is take true. it for what it's worth. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.